be honest, it was expected. Pe people have been talking about this, this delay for a long time, and, you know, it's still not, because there isn't a new date, it's still not 100% official in that sense. Uh, but it's essentially seen as an inevitability. And I think more than anything, people are, are still upset from what happened during the parliamentary election, where they saw, you know, there were, there were uh, polling stations that were empty, where, where election workers didn't show up where the results still haven't been published fully. Uh, so, so people are not necessarily surprised by this. The thing is, uh, elections in Afghanistan tend to be more civil in the sense that they're not necessarily going to bring out sort of personal issues and really start um, slinging mud, as they would in, say, U.S. elections. Uh, but there's definitely, you know, a drive for people who seem upset at, at the Ashraf national unity uh, government who want to say that they want to bring something new. Uh, what will be interesting is that a lot of the people that are supposed to be contesting this election were part of the unity government before. So I think a lot of people will be asking, you know, if you couldn't deliver at that time when you were part of the government, and now that you know you, you've left, you've either signed uh, or you've been forced out, and now you're speaking out against the government. What are you going to deliver that's different? So I think it'll be a very interesting, um, you know, sort sort of setting to see. But the big problem right now, the big issue right now, is will there be an election, and when will it be?